This occurring challenge is called Utopian Tree. We have a tree that goes through two cycles of growth every year, and that is during spring when it doubles in height, and during summer when its height increases by one meter. At the beginning, we have a tree with a height of one meter, and we need to find how tall is that tree going to be after n growth cycles. So for example, if n is equal to five, meaning after five cycles of growth, the tree is going to have a height of 14. At first, cycle zero, the height is one meter. Cycle one, the height doubles, so it becomes two meters. Cycle two, we increase the height by one. Cycle three, we double the height to six. Then cycle four, we increase the height by one. And cycle five, we double the height from seven to 14. Notice here that at every cycle that is an odd number, the height doubles. Because like they say here, in spring it doubles and in summer it increases by one. So here, cycle one, which is in spring, the height doubled. Cycle three, three is an odd number, the height doubled again from three to six. And cycle five, five here is an odd number, and the height doubled again from seven to 14. So the logic here is quite straightforward. We have this function called utopian tree. It gets a parameter, it's an int parameter called n. And if you look here, they say that n is a number of cycles for every test case. And the value of n is within the inclusive range of zero and 60. So n here can be zero, which is why at first I want to set my cycle to zero, just like they did right here in the example and then I'm setting my height to one. Now I want to verify, so long as I have cycles to go through because n is not equal to zero, then I want to increase my cycle to one first using these pre-increments and I'm going to compare at every iteration. And then if the value of that cycle is an odd number, then I'm going to double the height of the tree. This is what I was explaining here. Cycle one was two, cycle three, it doubled again, cycle five, it also doubled. Otherwise, if the value of the cycle is an even number, like cycle two or cycle four, the height only increases by one. So here I'm using a post increment, it doesn't really matter. We just want to increase the height value by one. Once I'm done, I return the height right here. So I'm going to run this code first. And we've passed sample test case zero and also the second one. So now I'm going to submit this code. We have 10 test cases and we just passed all of them. So that's it guys for this Akarang challenge. It was called Utopian Tree. If you like my solution, please subscribe to my channel, turn on your notifications, and I'll catch you next time.